All right. We've got green balls, John. Don't know what that means. Well, I know what it doesn't mean. I saw a vi video on fusion that said, are blue balls real? Um, I'm going to click play on that at some point. <laughs> it just, I was in a situation like being at work where clicking that video is probably not the smartest thing I could have done. So yeah. I didn't click. I'm trying to figure out where space is at right now. And instead, you're just contracting cancer. Yeah. Okay, so it wants me to go over there. Let's go over there. Oh, hey. There we go. Oh, I got it. I'm going to open space. Yeah. So that's an oxygen recharge. These are probably the gates. Probably a reasonable assumption. So should I get them down here before? I mean, you can. Or is it just gonna get them when it starts? And it's not a big deal. Yeah, fuck it. I've died before. I'll die again. I was gonna help when you walk across there and the doors, doors are open. just open? Yeah. Yeah, the problem is he can't jump, and that little ledge presents too much of a hassle to... Cool. Head on out. Where am I supposed to go? I guess you do still have to launch those out. Yeah. Nice shot. Wow, I actually got Lucio Ball this shit, huh? Yeah. Radioactive material removed. Radioactive material removed. All right. Get your oxygen tank here. All right. And then we're going to run on the other side where that one recharges. Oh, hey, look. Your favorite. Scripted uh, attack moments. Oh, oh, fucking God. Get off me. Can you pick them up with your uh, kinesis gun? I can pick up the dead ones. Oh. Yeah, that's and nice. use it as like a very weak projectile weapon. I was just going to say, you can pick them up and just toss them in space. But... Or I'm sure nothing bad will happen. Another hit. It's good shit right there. <laughs> Just pure odd. Hey man, I uh no shit have paid ten I paid thousands of dollars. Almost ten thousand dollars. Probably more. Probably actually I did hit ten thousand dollars. For fucking oxygen. What? Yes, that's our fucking healthcare system. Welcome to the United States. Um radioactive material removed. Some scores. I'm gonna get here and do a refill. Um his hand, where'd you go? Um I don't know why he starts yeah, sounding like he's suffocating uh, with, you know, 30 seconds left. I think he panics. I really don't think he has a good grip on uh, stressful situations. Are you going to throw this uh, because he's an engineer bullshit the at fuck? me again? Really? <laughs> he got a Superman that yeah. I don't even know where they went. Radioactive material removed. Uh, yeah, as a cancer survivor, um, not only did I have chemo, I had radiation therapy. Um, and it was in the area. The reason I have false teeth, uh, is because, you know, the radiation destroyed. Material removed. Yeah. Um, bone and everything like that. And then, so when it was time to, like, okay, my teeth actually gotten the last years out of them that I'm ever going to get. 
Um, is there any more radiation? I don't did think I, so. Did I, I do it? it? Um. Oh, no. there's one more apparently. Where the fuck are you? Um. Get up here and take a look from this side. I needed, um, before they could rip my teeth out, they were worried, you know, like, your entire jawbone could collapse. So I'm like, are you telling me I can't box ever again? Um, and then they reminded me <laughs> that uh, you never box in your life, and it would be criminal to allow uh, you to do so. Um, I'm about to die, Anna. Yeah, you are. Um, where the fuck's the... Right down there. Come on, Superman! Ah. Um, it's not like seeing this damn fucking thing. What did you do to it, Mike? Uh, fuck. So, um, can I just run up these walls? Okay, cool. Let's run up here. There it there is. There it is. God damn. It's like that one nut that just, like, caught your jeans. Yeah. And you want to adjust, but, you know, people are looking. And we all fucking do it. But, you know. Radiation hazard clear. Safety lock released. You can lock if you want to. So, yeah, so I needed, um, hyperbaric oxygen, uh, chamber treatments. Yeah. Which is nothing but, uh, sticking your ass in a tube pressurizing that tube and then making you breathe oxygen, pure oxygen while you're under pressure. Um, where the fuck am I going? Oh. I really? I can't jump there? There. Okay. Thanks, Havoc. <laughs> I can't just walk on down. There we go. Objective complete. So yeah, I needed those treatments, and uh, my health insurance company, the first I just fell out denied it. Now, um, you may have heard of these government organizations, uh, the FDA, yeah, uh, Medicare, yeah. Um, they have approved this treatment for uh, my particular situation, recovering from uh, radiation therapy. Um, and when in need of additional treatment. Yeah. Since like 1976. Like it was like one of the first approved treatments for hyperbaric oxygen. Um, the, the first was actually for deep sea divers. Um, who come up, uh, it's actually how they, they discovered the other properties. They, uh, come up too quick. Yeah. Right? Say they were low on oxygen. Um, and uh, infection process is doing something strange to these soldiers. They all what the hell am I supposed to be doing? Or is this just a sliding puzzle game? Into their flesh or something, making them move fast, real fast. Be careful. This is a sliding game puzzle, isn't it? Why won't you move? Okay, you'll move that way. Is there like a track or something? It doesn't. It care. looks like it, but they don't seem to go all the directions of the track. Oh. So yeah, the original use was for hyperbaric oxygen was if you came up from a dive too quick, um, you have like a whole bunch of blood pressure problems because your blood pressure is off from the change. Yeah. They throw you back in a tube and bring you back to pressure. Um, and then control it. Uh, and while you're there, they pretty much just give you straight oxygen. Um, so, uh, if you have pure oxygen, your body will reject most of it. Um, if your body can't use the oxygen, it just throws it out. But, if you're under pressure... Um, when your blood tries to throw it out, it will instead throw it into other parts of your body. 
like dead tissue that normally because of radiation can't regrow anymore ah. so it forces the blood vessels to grow back into my jaw uh, that should be otherwise dead um, and they found this out because the people who were uh, oh these fuckers I forgot about you guys these are the super fast fuckers They had these guys in Left 4 Dead, too, I think. Oh, I got him. Yeah. Left 4 Dead was one of those games that's really fun, but only if you know everybody that you're playing with yeah. on the team. Lay off on the high C, man. Moderation, dude. Um, yeah, so, you know, I had to fight the insurance. Uh, even though insurance is shitty and, you know, denies kind of coverage and shit all the time. Um, the, uh, I'm, am I supposed to go through? Okay. Yeah, she totally didn't flash to a, a skull just then. Yeah. Um, the, the doctors are so, like, amazed that they would even attempt to deny this, given that, uh, both the FDA and it's a Medicare-approved, like, this wasn't like a, we're gonna try something treatment. It was like, this is standard protocol. Um, and you cannot have, uh, surgery on your teeth, uh, until this is done. Because your jaw will collapse. I'm like, I need that, right? And they're like, yeah, you need a jaw. Do go to biology at all? And I'm like, well, yeah. That's where we cut up a frog. <laughs> and they're like, oh, yeah, but now I'm cut up frogs anymore. Sweet. No more keys to get. Until he tells me it failed. Yeah. Or, or there's, yeah, there's one that, you know, didn't cooperate. It's in a manual override. Something went wrong. You're never gonna believe this, Isaac. <laughs> a lot of them little things, and... Yep. Hmm. Where the hell are you at? Get the fuck off of them. No means no. Please just kill it, Isaac. If I have to go through the cutscene. There you go. Any more? Okay. I think we got them before they were able to, uh... <coughs> spawn any... <coughs> Excuse me. Other guys. This way I'm supposed to go. Sure, why not? <coughs> Mr. Clark, I need to speak. So, um, oh well. My name is Terence Kine, Doctor Kine. Listen to me. There isn't much time. That name just doesn't sound evil at all, does it? No. Doctor Kine. Use for it than just running away. Doctor Kine, boy. You must understand. The forces at work here are greater than you can imagine. If you leave now, you condemn all humanity. The planet will never stop, never rest, unless the marker is returned. Don't you see? The church is wrong. This is all a trap. I've seen it. Please, you must help me. Oh, actually, I think Doctor Kine's a good guy. Yeah. He's like, the crazy church people are actually wrong. You are turning into zombies. I mean, I'm supposed to be running to save somebody. That's not fucking happening right now. Nope. He's walking around, checking, doing the mic thing, looking around every corner. 
stop in the court. <laughs> oh, you know what? I could go ahead and use a health. I'm just wondering if I took him out like a different way. Could I avoid those little fuckers? Can I stomp them through the door? How good is the hit detection? Is this Dark Souls? Can I Dark Souls this shit? Find out. I got Dark Souls. No, he dies. Oh, that's fun. I hope that door killed some of them. <laughs> Oh, oh that's nice. I'm, I'm glad that you didn't, like, use your shitty camera angle once again to... You're all good right now. Well, good's a relative term. <laughs> glad I used that health. They gave you another one. So, uh, if you get, um... Oh, yeah, eventually we fought it, and they eventually covered it, but... They still put it as like an out of plan thing, you know? Um, and so oxygen apparently gets billed out at uh, $300,000 for, you know, I need a month worth of treatments, which is going down one once a day uh, and for an hour uh, sitting in the little, uh, okay, I can take a what is charge? It's not capacity. No, it's charge. Oh, it takes time. time off a charge. Yeah. And that takes time off a reload. Or I can just go and... Yeah, I'm just gonna keep going for... Uh... Yeah. Alright, kids. Well, when we come back... Uh, more... I'll tell you what happens when you get uh, in the oxygen chamber. Yeah, more, more stories about how our healthcare system sucks.